Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about the Autumn Moon featured summons. All units have been released on the past, so you may already have them. On this video, I want to talk about Orlando first. He was a god back then, but is he still good now? Especially after Onion Knight and Near Duo AB have been released. Stats wise, he lose compared to Onion Knight and those near characters. But at this moment, he has one very big advantage and that is the chaining partner. In my opinion, the best 5 star chainers right now are Dark Veritas and Orlando. The reason is, of course, Agria's Awakening. When you max Divine Ruination, she able to perfect chain with those two heroes. Okay, Agrias is only four stars, so I believe many players already have her. This is important because right now we already get ten man battle. In that battle, we cannot bring same units or friends units. So. Even if you have two Onion Knights, then you cannot use both of them, okay? So, yeah, this is the reason why Orlando is, is, is very good. This means you really need, yeah, to find a partner who can easily chain with Agrias. And those heroes are Orlando and Dark Veritas. I keep mentioning Agrias because, in my opinion, Agrias is the best 4 star space chainer, okay? After you have awakened her, of course, okay? However, if you don't care about 10 man battle, then yeah, Orlando is not that tempting at this moment because let's say you have 2B then you can easily find 2B friends and yeah, that will be much powerful than Orlando's chaining, okay? But on the 10 man battles, the best are Orlando and Dark Fairy Dust. Let's take a look at the stats comparison between Awakened Agrias and Orlando. I use equipment displayed on the screen with max pot and same as first. Like you can see that Orlando win, but not by a big margin. I know that you can get more attack passive boost because on this build the attack boost only reach 260% but yeah I use this setup because it is more reasonable build and do not use trust master from the 5 stars base unit Orlando wins in terms of attack and health but awakened Agrias is a little bit better in terms of of the event and spirit. However, Orlando has some status ailments resistant, which make him better than Agrias. However, my point is right now he is not that great compared to before, okay? Because like you can see that yeah, he is stronger but only 60 point only yeah, only 60 point higher than Agrias. I know that the difference will be bigger if you able to max your attack passive boost to 300%. But yeah, okay, it is not that worthy because Orlando is 5 stars base and yeah, closely matched with Agrias who is 4 stars base. However, he will get an ability awakening on the future, so he is still great, okay? But right now, I prefer Dark Fairy Taz more than Orlando. Now, let's take a look at the 4 star space. The first is Mercedes. She is bad on her normal condition, but if you have the resource to awaken her, then she is quite decent. She can get 120% attack boost, which is pretty high for 4 stars base, okay? Her skill, Seeking Chop, also able to imperil water resist by 75%, which is nice, but it is kinda niche because 
there are not many good weapons with water element that makes you yeah a little bit hard to get the advantage of her 75% water in peril because yeah there are not many character able to inflict water attack Tidas is strong water attacker but if you have Tidas you can imperil better than her so again not that useful maybe Zyrus blood rain but other than that I cannot think other heroes okay her trash master reward has water element and it has nice attack stats too but ax is not the favorite weapon in this game because the only axe mastery you can get is from flame veritas and he is five stars base so i believe not many players have him by equipping axe it can be said that you miss one mastery for your ability slot i can say that yeah because yeah there are only two characters who able to use axe efficiently flame veritas and herself so yeah unless you have flame veritas her trust master reward is not that useful her awakened seeking chop damage multiplier is nice if you compare it to an awakened character but against awakened character 3.75 is not that good great okay 100% attack buff is nice but yeah if you already have soleil then yeah it is basically not useful okay the next four stars is luca i just review her few weeks ago when she got her awakening in my opinion she is one of the best healer right now if you don't have till it i mean the awakened version of course okay however yeah if you don't awaken her then she is bad okay Revia and Arya are much better than her in an awakened state her trash master reward also not that good only spirit boost spirit boost okay MP boost is nice it but not that important and water resistant is not useful on all conditions so yeah a big no for me and the last hero is x dead he was really good before but now like his name dead okay he cover nice range of elemental damage but the strength of those black magics are bad they are only ga level not mentioning his equipment choice makes his magic stats lower than other mage okay and if you forget remember that he gets minus 50 percent like resist okay in my opinion shan toto is better than him on the bright side he able to equip that serpent mace you get from the misty bamboo event his awakening is also kinda troll. Meteor damage increase is simply not worth. His passive killers also only increase by 10% per level. So yeah, I think he is not good at this moment, okay? Not mentioning his trash master reward. Holy, I don't think anyone will love this trash master. It is very situational and the attack power is not that strong okay so i think the only way gami can make x that useful is yeah maybe when maybe when okay in the future when we get the seven stars form of the heroes maybe they will give x that just spell but yeah it is just my imagination so just ignore that now to the conclusion should you summon on this banner i believe you guys are already know the answer but let me say this okay i think not at all but if you insist to summon then only do daily pull maybe you get lucky and you get orlando however if you yeah 
if you don't think you can get Orlando then I suggest you to yeah stay back because the three and four stars heroes on this banner are simply not that good the four stars Mercedes and Luca need to be awakened to be relevant on this game so yeah you don't want to do that and their trust measure are also not good so yeah even if you really need a healer right now I don't think it is worth to aim to get Luca because there is Mercedes who lowers the chance to get Luca. Just see this banner as a banner where you can save your lapis or resource for upcoming banner. So yeah, I think that conclude everything about this banner. On the newest patch, you can fuse your trash Moogle, but I warn you not to fuse all of your trash Moogle into 100%. My suggestion is to keep your trash Moogle at 45 to 50%. This will make you a little bit more flexible. Why? Let me explain it. I don't do macro, but I have Trust Master Reward Party, which I use for the story mission and use friend to yeah use friend when progress through this story mode. I also use that Trust Master Reward Party in the Vortex when I farm the Chris. And of course, when I clear daily mission which asks me to clear 3 story mode. From my experience, don't underestimate this, okay? So maybe you are too lazy to set up this, but with time, you will gather a nice amount of trust master which is yeah, a little bit helpful also it seems that we get 100% trust moogle from daily quest on the weekend so having 100% trust moogle will make you not flexible okay so for example right now my weary has 3.7% trust master if I use 100% Trash Moogle, then I waste that 3.7%. However, if I have, let's say, 95% Trash Moogle, then I can fuse it with Weary and add 1 1% Trash Moogle. And then I only need 0.3% Trust to get the Proud Fencer which can be obtained easily from a few or shrine run. So yeah, I have done this mistake which make me having two 100% trust Moogle. So please don't do the same mistake like I just did, okay? Also remember that you can fuse 5% trust Moogle with 10% trust Moogle. So yeah, you don't need to fuse the same form, okay? So yep, I think that's all you need to know. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Views Guide. Bye bye guys.